Hello, in this video we're going to solve a two-firm Carnot model using algebra. A two-firm market characterized by Carnot competition has the following inverse market demand. Price equals 20 minus 1 half Q, where Q is the output of firm 1 plus the output of firm 2. So the subscripts represent the output of the respective firm. If we're going to make a substitution, we can substitute out this Q for Q subscript 1 plus Q subscript 2. I do that right here. And if we want, we can distribute this minus 1 half through the parentheses. Let's say that the marginal cost of each firm is constant at $2. So for firm 1, we want to maximize profit, and we're going to follow the golden rule of profit maximization, setting firm 1's marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. We already have firm 1's marginal cost. The hard part, which is actually not that hard, is to get firm 1's marginal revenue. And here's the key. The marginal revenue for firm 1 equals inverse market demand with a slope that is twice as steep. So here's the inverse market demand. To turn this into firm 1's marginal revenue, we're going to give it a slope that is twice as steep. So for firm 1, we're looking at this Q subscript 1 variable, and we're just going to multiply it through by 2 to get it twice as steep. So 2 times 1 half is just 1. Therefore, the marginal revenue for firm 1 is 20 minus Q subscript 1 minus 1 half Q subscript 2. We don't have to do anything with the Q subscript 2 term. We're not multiplying that by 2. So setting marginal revenue for firm 1 equal the marginal cost. And we're going to solve for firm 1's output, Q subscript 1. So 20 minus 2 is where this 18 is coming from. And then just moving some things around. This is referred to as firm 1's reaction function. Let's do a similar thing now from firm 2's perspective. Firm 2 maximizes profit by setting the marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So once again, the key idea here is that marginal revenue uh, will equal the inverse market demand with a slope that is twice as steep. So recalling what the inverse market demand is. And since this is firm 2, we're going to look at Q subscript 2. And they're just going to multiply what's in front of it by 2. So minus 1 half times 2 just leaves us with Q subscript 2. So firm 2's marginal revenue is the following. Setting that equal to marginal cost, and this time solving for firm 2's output, we get the following result. So, so far we have two reaction functions with two unknowns. Reaction function for firm 1, the reaction function for firm 2. And so now we're going to solve this. What I'm going to do here is for Q subscript 2, I'm going to plug in 18 minus 1 half Q subscript 1. So just doing a little bit of substitution here. Again, where I have Q subscript 2, I'm plugging in firm 2's reaction function. And now I'm going to solve this for Q subscript 1. So minus 1 half times 18 is minus 9. Minus 1 half times minus 1 half Q subscript 1 is where this plus 1 fourth Q subscript 1 is coming from. Moving up here now, 18 minus 9 leaves us with 9. Subtracting 1 fourth Q subscript 1 from both sides. Simplifying the left-hand side, 1 minus 1 fourth is just 3 fourths and then multiplying everything through by 4 thirds, or 4 divided by 3. And the output for firm 1 will be 12 units. What about the output of firm 2? Take this 12 units and plug it into firm 2's reaction function. How does firm 2 react? If firm 1's producing 12 units of output, it too would like to produce 12 units of output. In terms of the market price, going back to our market inverse demand, we're just going to evaluate it at firm 1 and firm 2's output. So plugging in 12 for firm 1's output and 12 for firm 2's output, we see that the market price is $8 per unit. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.